Hello everyone. Where we are using probability theory in uh, machine learning and uh, deep learning applications. The probability is the science of uh, quantifying uncertain things. So whenever our output is uncertain, then there is the probability is applied. Most of the machine learning and deep learning applications utilize a huge data set to learn the patterns from the given data set. Whenever the data is utilized in a machine learning or deep learning system rather than a, only the logic uncertainty is growing up so whenever the uncertainty is growing up the probability is becoming too relevant in that particular scenario so we have to go for the probability theory to apply in that particular uncertainty scenarios here we are having the example of uh, the our data set is having uh, 20 uh, Im uh, images okay so in this 20 images we have to pass into the neural network to learn the digit which is uh, available in that particular picture so the this picture is having five so it should be recognized by our neural network the neural network is having the two layers one is the input layer and another one is the output layer so it you think it is a perceptron you assume this is a perceptor single layer perceptron so here i am passing the image uh, which is having the digit 3 so the problem statement is recognize the uh, the, the digit which is available in the given picture okay the picture size is here uh, 28 by 28 so we are having 784 pixels in this given picture so the data set is having uh, here uh, from x1 to etc here x 784 if you start from 0 then it will be 783 okay so if you start from the feature 0 then you are having 783 features then here label is there so label is here for the first sample the sample is here 3 then here you will have some intensity values here our label is 3 so our neural network should learn this pattern by passing the input data so all the features are sending in the form of vector already we have learned the purpose of vectors so here the x0 x1 etc x783 are given as a vectors then bias is given to the neurons all the neurons b1 b2 etc b9 so here our number of digits are 0 to 9 so i need uh, 10 neurons in the output layer so here i am having 10 neurons in the output layer so that's what mentioned here so 0 1 etc 9 so 0 to 9 so here uh, the this entirely this this uh, two components is called one neuron so the neuron is here we are having linear sum and activation function so linear sum and activation function so here we are going to use the activation function as a softmax classifier the linear sum is processing in this location net 0 net 1 etc net 9 then activation function is applied then output will be given in, in the y0 y1 etc y9 so here whenever you are passing the uh, uh, input into this uh, neuron then you will get the all 784 features and it should be sum up with the uh, uh, respective weights so then it will be classified so here uh, the input layer is flattened vector which is having 784 vectors then there is no hidden layer actually directly we are having output layer so the, here we are having only the output layer not a hidden layer which is having 10 neurons so that's what i explained already 0 to 9 neurons all the 10, 10 neurons are allotted to each and every digit so 10 digits are having its own neuron so it is multi-class classification so we are going to use the softmax classifier then here suppose when you are passing the 3 so when you are passing the 3 what will be happen the y1 y2 y3 etc y9 so here the probability value will be given by the softmax classifier for example y0 may be a 0 0.01 then y1 may be a 0 0.02 
टू एंड हियर वाई टू मे बी जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सेवन देन हियर वाई थ्री मे बी जीरो पॉइंट एट देन आल वाई फोर वाई फोर वाई फाइव वाई सिक्स वाई सेवन वाई सेवन वाई एट यू कंसिडर एस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो देन वाई नाइन वी कंसिडर हियर जीरो पॉइंट वन सो नाउ यू लुक एट दैट here we got the maximum probable value so in this structure maximum probable value is y3 which is having 0.8 so this is the output we are going to get so what is the y3 so y3 is giving you the output so it is giving zero output one output two output here three is the output so the digit is the picture the picture is recognized as the digit 3 with highest maximum likelihood probability value so the probability is used in the neural network uh, to find out the uncertainty value okay so the total probability of all the neurons will be one so that is also to be considered here so that's what finally we will select the org max maximum likelihood value which is having highest value in the output vector that is considered as a predicted class in our example y3 is giving you the 0.8 is the maximum likelihood probability so it is the uh, output that is giving you the digit Three. So we, here is uh, the probability is used. So where is the probability used? So here set of all possible values in an experiment that is called sample space. So here the sample space is having twenty images. You look at that. Our in, our input data set is having twenty uh, images. This is called sample space. So uh, then uh, output has to be predicted by using the uh, perceptron network by using the output. Uh, uh, softmax classifier is having 0 to 9 which is recognizing the digits from 0 to 9 the probability distribution is uh, 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 described here how likely the random variable is taking on different values of the sample space as per our example the output vector is here y0 to y9 so that's what given here to recognize the digits by using the probability values so you look at here i am giving you the uh, probability values for y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 y7 y8 y9 so here the maximum probable value is 0.5 which is representing the y3 so which is giving you the recognized the digit s 3 for the image 3 suppose when i am passing the image another image 9 so when you are passing the 9 then this ninth uh, neuron will give you maximal probable value like 0.7 remaining all the neurons will have the values uh, less than 0.7 so the maximum probable value will be considered as a output so here we will use the probability total probability as 1 because we will use the normalization process then we will use joint probability and conditional probability based upon some circumstances so here whenever the two events are occurring simultaneously then we can use uh, the joint probability for example sun and moon is occurring at the same time but it is a uh, very low level i mean uh, uh, low probability value and here the one example is given to uh, uh, represent the probability distribution here the number of observation or total gives you the probability distribution so these are the values which are giving you in the data set now we have to convert that into the probability theory so here the total is 500 then we are uh, finding the probability uh, here 120 divided by 500 uh, 75 Uh, divided by 500 then 100 divided by 500 so like that we are calculating the probability value for the three types of events football and rugby and other events which are watching by the male and the female then what is the total number of audience for the football total number of audience for the rugby total number of audience for the uh, other events so total probability will be one that means uh, the number of people will be 
coming under the total probability 1. So, here the when, when, when we can use the joint probability, the two events are occurred simultaneously. That means, uh, here football is also watching by the people, rugby is also started at the same time watching by the people, right? So, here that the 39 percentage is uh, watching the football, 25 percentage is watching the rugby, okay? That's what given here. So, how can we calculate this? probability of A intersection B equal to probability of A given B into probability of B. So, by using the conditional probability, we can use the uh, joint probability calculation. And the marginal probability is uh, defined as subset of collection of random variables, which is the probability distribution of the variables which are containing in the subset. You look at that. So, these are all subsets. Okay. So, total uh, is here probability 1. So, among this subset of people. So, male is one subset, female is another subset. When you are taking the with respect to events, uh, football watching people is one subset, rugby watching people is one subset, other events watching people is another subset. But total probability is here 1. So, the subset of collection of random variables also represented by using the probability distribution that is called marginal probability. And another one probability is conditional probability. Here one event is occurring uh, given uh, that another event. That means uh, the uh, A event is depending, uh, depends upon the event already occurred event B. That is the thing. So here uh, it can be calculated uh, probability of A given B, probability of A comma B. So, probability of A comma B is represented with the product rule probability of B comma A into probability of A. So, we can use this formula. So, for example, probability of rugby given female. So, how many people watching the rugby? So, probability of rugby given rugby given female equal to female given rugby. So, female uh, given rugby is 0 0.5. So, that is the value we have taken here. Then probability of female, total probability of female is here 0 0.46. So, this value we have to take in. So, then we will get the output. So, probability theory is very useful to find out the uh, values where uncertainty is there in the uh, deep learning and machine learning applications. Thanks for watching.